like even just doing it in your hotel, like I have this go-to routine I do in my hotel room. Um, it's kind of like a version of what CrossFitters call the Cindy workout. So I'll do 10 push-ups, and then I do um, 10 V-ups, which are kind of like a version of a setup. Mm -hmm. And then I do like 15 bodyweight squats, and I do it over and over and over for like With 10, a rest or no? Minutes. No rest? No rest. You just I keep do going. do like 10 minutes. Nonstop. Yeah, I go from one to the next to the next. I, I mean, I'll know. like to catch my breath for a minute, but like the recovery is very short, maybe yeah, yeah. 20 seconds, 30, you know, like it's not, no. not like- So you keep your heart rate up the whole time. I keep my heart rate up the whole time. And usually like in many cases, I only do 10 minutes. Like if it's like a, a hotel room workout where I just sure. need to do something quick and like get it, but it really works. Really? The Cindy workout, yeah. Will that generate lactate also? Yeah, absolutely. And where do you feel that? Um, you can measure it, but like heart rate is a good way. Like if you're if you're getting up to like eighty five percent, so I wear my Apple Watch, right? And if you're if you're getting up to like, you know, eighty five percent of your max heart rate, eighty eighty five percent, you're most likely going to be making lactate. You're creating it. Yeah. It, what does it What does it feel like to have lactate in the body? Burns. It burns. <laughs> does it burn like in the muscle group or more in the lungs? I feel it in the muscle group. When I'm doing when I'm doing things like body weight squats or biking or push ups, yeah, I mean you feel it. You're burning. It feels like, heavy. It feels like it hurts. It's it painful. Does. Yeah. I mean, even yeah, you know, doing body weight squats are great. There was a study that came out. Well, I don't know. It was like six months ago or something, that showed doing ten body weight squats every forty five minutes throughout like an eight hour ish work day. Mm -hmm was better for glucose regulation, so this is your blood sugar regulation, than a 30 minute walk. Mm. And I timed myself, it took me 27 seconds to do 10 body weight squats. And you know, so these are like exercise snacks, right? Uh -huh. These are things that you do, it's a great way to break up your sedentary time. So when you're sitting in your office for hours at a time, you're sedentary. And it's interesting because there's been a lot of research that have come out over the past few years showing that being sedentary, I always used to think of being sedentary as like, oh, you're, you're not physically active. And sometimes I still use that word, you're sedentary. It's true, when you're sedentary, you're not physically active. And that's typically when you're doing a study and you're categorizing someone in a group, uh. right? But, but you can be sedentary and still be physically active. So like, I do a lot of sitting when I'm at my computer, when I'm researching something, reading studies, you know, I'm at my computer, or I'm doing a podcast, I'm sitting, I sit for multiple yeah. hours, right? Yeah. That is sedentary time, and that has been shown to be an independent risk factor for certain cancers. Wow. Meaning independent of your physical activity even, which is interesting because it's like, it makes you think, wow, exercise, not getting up and doing, you know, a two minute, three minute, like, you know, you do some high knees or you do some burpees or some squats or something where you're getting that physical activity and you just do it for a couple of minutes and you break up your work day. It's, it's, what's really interesting is there's been studies showing that you, so people, there's exercise snacks in a structured way, like I just said, right? Where you're like, okay, I set a timer every, you know, 45 minutes, I'm going to get up and do 10 body weight squats. Okay. That's a structured ex exercise snack. Yeah. Well, some people have unstructured exercise snacks. So let's say they work on the fourth floor of an office building. And they walk the stairs. They sprint the stairs. Ooh. They sprint the stairs. They get their heart rate up, right? Let's go. Yeah. So, so there's been large studies. Interesting. Sprinting. Yeah. Yeah. Large. Not just taking walking the stairs. No. It's They're still like, good to walk the okay, stairs too, right? I should, def okay, let me, let me, <laughs> let me define sprint because if we're talking about a coach sprint, no, they're not doing what a coach sprint would be. What I mean is they're, they're going fast. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They're, they're running. They're, yeah. They're running. Up right. This right. They're going, they're going faster than just walking. Yeah, yeah. They're not, they're not sprinting in the coach sense of the word. Thank you for pointing that out because people might, yeah. might be like, well, you're yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, they're not yeah. sprinting. No way. Um, and you're right. They're running yeah. as fast as they can up the as, stairs. They're as fast as they can up the stairs and their heart rate's getting pretty high. Um, and this is this has been measured because there's been large studies like that have put that. accelerometers on people where they measure their heart rate. And they found that people that do anywhere from between two to six minutes of this sort of unstructured type of mm. vigorous exercise, they have a 40% lower cancer-related mortality, 40% lower all-cause mortality, so dying from all causes, 50% lower cardiovascular-related mortality. This is incredible because this was even in people that identified themselves as non-exercisers. In other words, they don't go to the gym, they don't take that extra time, they just do this. This is how they exercise. They incorporate this 
you know, lifestyle. It's called Vigorous Intermittent Lifestyle Activity, um, Physical Activity, VILPA. Wow. And it's, it's, it's kind of eye-opening that even just doing two to six minutes. Now, when I gave you those statistics, that was the six minute. That was the upper end. So the sure, six sure. minutes a day. But six minutes a day, who doesn't have six minutes a day? I mean, why, why does it seem like <clears throat> when, sometimes I hear people say, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this once every two hours or set an alarm every hour at my desk and I'm going to get up and I'm going to do 10 push-ups, right? Or, or 20 sit-ups or whatever it might be or 10 air squats. And yeah, it seems so easy to do it for 60 seconds, five times a day, right? Five minutes, 60 seconds, five times a day. Why is it that so f few people do it consistently? They might try it for a day or two, but then they just stop to do five minutes, 60 seconds, five times a day. Why does it seem so hard for people to be consistent with this style of movement? Yeah, I think it's a good question. And it comes down to, um, you know, like maybe, maybe it disrupts their flow too much. Uh -huh. They're in the middle of something working and, so you bring up a good point, and that is you really do, you have to find something that you will do yeah. consistently. It's very, very important. And, you know, because exercise is, it has to be part of your personal hygiene every day, mm -hmm. right? Like brushing your teeth. Yes. Like you, it's not an add-on. You don't add it on. You do it. And, and I've sort of adopted this, that, you know, I've recently really just focused a lot on resistance training, on doing a lot of high intensity interval training, also getting my aerobic exercise, and it's a priority for me. You when know, did it become a priority for you? Well, I've always been sort of a aerobic exercise, like a runner, you know, so I've always had that aerobic exercise part of my life, you know, I've, I've always been physically active. But never lifting, huh? But lifting, lifting has been, I've, I would say I started making it a priority about a year and a half, maybe a year and a half ago, but like maybe like a year ago. And then wow. really about nine months ago, getting really serious about it. And that happened when I started getting a coach. 